Hello everyone and welcome to another video on EITG. Uh, this will be a short video about uh, me tearing down the included Dorman end links for the stabilizer bar kit on my 04 Grand Prix. The reason that I did this video where I cut the boots open was to see how much grease was in them. My main worry was they felt like they had no grease whatsoever. But there is grease in there, as you'll see in the video today. I hope you like and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video on EITG. This is just going to be a short teardown of these links that came with the Dorman Stabilizer Rear Sway Bar Kit, um, which includes sway bar lateral links, also known as sway bar links, um, and everything. I have went ahead and took these out. They've only been there two days, but I replaced them with a thicker, greasable set of moves. I will post a link in the description of all these parts, um, as well as part numbers, so you know what to look for. Now, the reason I took these off is because of how they had to be installed. These are exactly the same as factory, except for, well, maybe, the length of the rod here where the bolts go on. <clears throat> Now, the reason I took these off is, one, they're not greasable, two, they're thin. They do have good welds from what it looks like, but I still would rather have had something thicker. Um, but I understand, this was only about $70 off of Amazon. AutoZone has it for about 110 I think it was. But either way, I just wanted something thicker that will last longer. Don't get me wrong, the kit I pulled off the Pontiac that was busted was the factory original from 317,000 miles ago. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and take one of these ball joints out. Uh, maybe both sides. Oh, depends on if I can get... Yeah, I can't get that one off. I'll go ahead and pull this one off. We're going to cut these rubber boots off. Because I wonder... I am worried that these are not greased on the inside. So, okay, so that one's coming off. Uh, the reason you want these greased is for longevity. Um, these parts heat up quite a bit when you're turning and stuff while you're driving because they help stabilize the car during turns. Okay, so that came off all the way. We'll take this one apart because all the bolts were able to come off. Now, the way that you're supposed to put these on, at least the way the factory did it from Pontiac back in 03 when my car was built. Um, they went ahead and took one of these jam nuts, put it on backwards, put it all the way down, and then had that against this on the other side where it was bolted onto the car. Don't get me wrong, that's somewhat decent, but it would wind up instead of having it straight, have it angled, which I just don't like. Also, the chances of one of these bolts slipping off or slipping at all, it increases that chance because now there's two bolts there. Or at least from personal experience. Now, let's go ahead and try to cut these open. Do, 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 do. Oh, looks like I gotta cut it this way. Remember, people don't ever cut towards yourself. The amount of times I've done that and sliced my hands open is way too much. Now, these boots seem thin. A lot thinner than the ones on the Moo kit. But, if you just need to get your car up and going, I will admit this is a decent kit to use. Okay, so there is a tiny bit of grease in there, but there's no telling how long that will last. Oh, but it, I will say these are very nice and stiff. So the Dorman kit, I would give it, out of a grade of 8 F, but according to Americanized grading, I would give this a A for effort in design and stuff in order to follow the factory specs to give you something that will work. And, well, enough for redesigning them to be something a little bit stronger. 
No, not an F. I give them a C. So C for redesign because there's none done. But they're still very good. And A for following exact OEM specs because these do look exactly like the ones that came off the car. And I know the ones that came off the car were factory because um, I still had all the factory stickers, surprisingly, on there. But, uh, yeah. So, if you just put these on the car without this extra bolt, see. Now, imagine the plate on the, st uh, on the uh, stretch shock assemblies right here. This one, I rounded off by accident. Oh, do do So now, imagine that going all the way down into the bushing. That bushing is now compressed, and it shouldn't be. At least not like that. And now you have this much coming out, when it should only be cut about right here. So this part does not hit your rim or tire. So, I recommend just dropping the 20 something dollars on a set of Moogs. Um, Moogs are thicker. Better material, greasable, just a lot better in my opinion. Um, since one part was greasable, I'm not going to bother taking apart the rest. But, yeah, oh, as you can see on this one, it went pretty far, but because this flat end ain't touching this, it's that's how the factories were installed from what it looked like. I already threw those away. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, many as it is. Um... Like, subscribe, share for, and how do I make some money on YouTube? I don't care if it's a penny. Just help me make a little bit of money, and I'll put that penny towards a new video. Um, I will be starting up a Patreon soon, um, because like I said, the more money I can make, I will be putting any money I make off of videos towards more videos, so y'all have more to watch. I will see you all later. Oh, and I hope you like my new setup. Uh, this will be my new workstation. Mainly so I have more room to walk around. I will see you all later. Bye!